I went onto Facebook Marketplace and I found a uh, pretty neat item. It's a uh, Legion 5 laptop, uh, but it's actually broken. So this is a 2021 Legion 5 with a 3070, uh, RTX 3070 and 5900H. I'm not intending to use it as a laptop. I'm intending to use it as a desktop. Uh, so the guy told me that the screen was broken, um, which it clearly is broken. Um, but it does go into a boot loop apparently. So I'm going to have a look at it and see if I can uh, get it working. So he told me that his uh, like his Roomba or his iRobot or whatever it was uh, basically got caught in the cable and pulled it off the desk. So that let that be warned to you guys. And it just basically found smash clearly. So this is obviously all damaged. Um, I don't think he has the pieces of it. He probably just tossed them. The uh, looks like the screen is, you know, these wires here are busted. The ribbon cable needs to be reattached. Um, so there's some damage there, uh, but again, it's just that's just cosmetic, some cracks there. Uh, but the specs of the machine are really good. So uh, let's have a look at it. This looks like it's been actually knocked down a bit. So let's uh, figure out which side that's on, which I suspect is because it doesn't have a screen hooked up and it doesn't like that. So that's basically what he got, and it'll just keep running. But uh, all right, let's uh, let's try a see it is boot looping there repeatedly. Boot loop. So it just restarts the system. It'll do it again, and then it will just restart. It'll do it again, then it'll just. Restart. has very little give, so I'm a little worried about it. There you go, something got a little stuck there. Okay, so inside looks fine. That's a weird spot. Looks like there's almost a spot for an SSD, but really, it's just a spot for the bigger battery. Okay, so the Wi-Fi card looks good. SSD still in there in a good spot, just to avoid frying anything. bend some pieces of metal back. There's always the option to glue some of these pieces back if there's some broken. That's the, the heck is that? Oh, that's the mobile. I actually went back and reviewed that footage real quick because this looks like it was might have actually not been seated. This is just the motherboard connecting to other aspects. That could be why if this wasn't in there properly. The back plate is bent. I might be able to fix some of that by just kind of bending it back. Coin cell battery. All right. Two eight gigabyte modules. I wouldn't normally disassemble all of this because like these these come in theory they come well pasted and all that but um put it on there I might be able to just salvage it but that's fine okay on there for now it's actually a pretty inadequate paste job in my opinion I've seen worse but Okay, I got that work, got that out finally. There was like a broken, broken uh, screw thing there. Okay, so I have a couple different glues. I have this Gorilla Clear glue that doesn't become foamy, like the standard stuff, just some like crazy glue type stuff. Um, I've seen a video by V Westlife where he repairs an old, I don't know, 46 computer or something with like a material that basically melts the plastic back. That would be stronger than this, but I don't have that. And uh, basically, it, you know, these are just auxiliary little slots. This is just that like super glue, I guess it is. Crazy glue. It 
definitely it's a lot of damage to the structure of the keyboard, but um, I don't think it's like broken. Uh, it just doesn't have a like a firm back plate. There was a little one under here that would be easy to miss, which is much more to the left. Seems relatively good for now. Again, I'm going to have to repaste these. This thing goes in here. Okay. Another one, so. Uh, that might have been a, I guess it's a bridge and a screw, so I suspect, yeah, I can see the way it goes in. Uh, I mean, again, desktop, it's going to be hooked up to external, but it's nice to have speakers if needed. Okay, so I managed to get it into the boot manager. Um, which Windows is here. I'm not sure why it's not working, but uh, I can try an external Windows device, uh, but I don't suspect that's why it's not booting. I think it's because the screen isn't hooked up and it's freaking out, but we'll see. So it looks like the previous owner either cut these or they were damaged in the fall. But uh, I'm suspecting that I'm gonna have to put them back together. And we're able to get into the BIOS here. So obviously that's all working from what I can tell. Uh, and I suspect it just doesn't like not having a screen hooked up. So, um, you know, if I, I guess I could buy a new ribbon cable and hook up a new screen, it should be fine in theory. We'll see. Trackpad still works fine, as you can see. Okay, I decided to just say screw it and just try a new win so Windows installation media. So we'll give it a try, see if we can get it booted up. Uh, there was something wonky with the trackpad too. It was like constantly being depressed, which might have freaked out uh, the system. I'm not sure why, uh, but we'll see. All right, so it's working now. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have a screen anymore, so that's not going to work. Uh, there is some other damage inside that I did find. The audio cable, there's a little piece of, I'd call it like sheet metal that actually seems to have cut one of the audio cables so the speakers don't seem to be working uh, at least i don't think uh it didn't the cortana didn't like whatever announce her installation but all right so the next thing i'm going to do is just install this nvme uh, it has dual so this is 512 that came with it. it's an sk hynix yeah sk hynix i don't remember the model but i believe it's a decent drive i think it's a gen 3 drive uh, and then i have this this is just kind of like a data storage Okay, so here we go. It's working. Um, there was some freakouts happening with uh, the display turning off and just not detecting anything anymore. And I couldn't open up display settings uh, once it updated some drivers, I guess the NVIDIA driver. So what I did is I just, honestly, I hit Windows P, uh, Windows button plus P, and that that's a shortcut to switch displays and now it's working fine. It's done it a couple times. Um, now it's doing it because I'm updating the integrated graphics probably. Um, but uh, I suspect that at that point you just do Windows P and it should be fine, in theory. We'll see how it goes. All right, I decided to do one final upgrade and that's just get some uh, up, up the RAM. Okay, so here's the device. I have upgraded the, this is the original NVMe, which is just 500 gigabytes, which is fine. I don't need more. I could add more, but uh, added one gig, one terabyte over here. This is just, you know, kind of a budget uh nvme but it's still great has great reviews and it's a good reliable brand um you know and then uh the ram so uh these are actually nice machines you could get kind of at stock i'm sure nowadays these you can get these for a good price used um on like a local market and even the new ones are not overpriced anymore they're pretty cheap from what i've seen okay we can see the uh time spy score here 10,500 uh on the gpu cpu is 7800 now I'm not able to disable hybrid mode in here or in the BIOS. If I do that, it won't help with visuals. Um, it has something to do with the fact that it literally doesn't have a screen on it. So it has to be in hybrid mode for this computer to display over HDMI, which is fine. Um, so it could be a little bit higher if I did that, but that's pretty good still. I mean, there's the average.
slightly below uh, and considering I'm in hybrid mode that's pretty good to be honest um, and if we go over here uh, we can see the temperatures the machine just didn't get hot CPU this is the max here uh, basically I'd say 70 or so and uh, GPU same 71 and 81 eight, 78 at the hottest spot so very good very happy with these scores so there's my laptop right there you can see it underneath the TV uh, I basically use it as a uh, in my dining room area as uh, a computer here so if I want to play games I can sit on the couch here and it works great for playing games I can actually do some productivity stuff so I have some work open here I'm not gonna open it up but oh then this is a really powerful machine so it's got a 3070 uh, mobile 3070 but it's a higher watt and it has great cooling so it's nice and quiet despite the fact that it's in this living area here and it's a great machine I mean I did have some issues with Windows 11 when I installed Windows 11 it wouldn't output video no matter what it no matter what I did so I kept it on Windows 10 which is fine for now um, but yeah, it works really, really great for what I use it for. Um, I'm quite happy with it. And here we go. This is basically the setup. Um, there's some reflection on the screen there. I can't see that from where I'm sitting, but here we go. You know, I have my laptop down there um, or half top or whatever it is hooked up. I have a cooling pad under it if need be. Um, doesn't really need it. This device has great cooling, but it just allows the fans themselves to be a bit quieter. And I can sit here and I can play games with a controller and play whatever I want.